Hello, welcome back. This is Captain Cowboy here with another video. Tonight we're doing our Beginner's Guide to Iron Throne mini series part 8. Part 8 is going to be our research. So, right here, we're going to be looking at our academy here, and we're going to be looking at all of our different research trees that we have available. We're going to look at how we want to prioritize it, and we're going to look at what's going to give us the best stat increases, best power increases and all of that sort of jazz. So we go off and we start it into the battle tree. So when you first start off, this is gonna be your new home. Uh, you'll notice that I haven't maxed out everything. There's actually a couple different tricks and tips I wanna teach you right off of the bat. Your highest level, your highest percentage stat increase comes at that final level, that final jump from 14 to 15, or how many ever, depending on how many levels there are, is gonna give you the largest stat increase. <coughs> But you'll notice that there's also a huge increase on this one from 9 to 10. When you go from 9 to 10, it's essentially doubling, uh, just below doubling, the stat increase that you get from this research. So if you're being really resource uh, conscientious or uh, conscientious of your speed ups, you might honestly want to stop at that level 10 because at level 10, you're getting a huge stat increase and then you're only going up to 3% to from there for a lot of resources and a lot of time. So you want to look for different things like that because if it's not you know level 15 is like we'll take a look here well we'll try to find a uh, tree that has like okay this one has 10 so here we're going up from 7 to 8 this one is a jump of a hundred thousand um you know that that's not, this isn't really good research to look at we'll look at one later on in a different tree and we'll show you because it's it's the same in every single tree but with battle, we want to focus on this until we get to academy level 26. Is that correct, Swag? 26, not 25? Yep. Perfect. Battle for 26, and then once we're training at 26. Yes, once we hit academy level 26, we want to go switch gears and focus on to our troop training. Troop training is the best tree in the game, stats-wise. Because the way I like to explain it is, we'll take a look here at our little troop training uh, factories, let's take a look at our stables and let's take a look at our T6s. Our T6s will notice that we have a base attack of 140 and we have a health um, base health at 670 but with research we're actually increasing our base stat by 175. So let's look at some basic numbers. Let's say that our base attack is 100 but we are able to double that and bring it up to 200 with this troop training. Well, if I have a thousand percent stat on 100, well, I'm not really good at math, so I'm bringing out a calculator right now, but that's going to be a 10,000. But if we're doubling that up, you know, we're essentially doubling our the effect of our stats. So when you double or you, you know, you increase your troop training base numbers, you're actually just multiplying exponentially the effect of the troop training and the the stats that you will have on top of your troop training. So I highly recommend that everyone delves deep into troop training research because this research is honestly just absolutely amazing. It's phenomenal. And again, all right, so we're here we're looking at level 10s. Um this isn't swag. This isn't like the others cuz this isn't a percentage tree. So we'll look yeah, at it no, that's later. That's a percentage on. tree. Yeah, you have to look Only at percentage, percentage trees. trees. Yeah. We'll have to look at a percentage tree for that. But troop training, we want to delve deeply into it. Now, you do have to max out um, everything in order to move on. So here's another trick that I like to mention. Don't go and start maxing out tier 1s. As I've mentioned, any level 40 gear that you go up against will absolutely decimate your tier 1s. So don't really focus on maxing them out at first. Let's say bring it up to level 5. At level 5 then, well, now we're going to be looking and we're going to say, well, it's not worth it for me to keep going beyond level 5 resource or speed up wise because I have other research trees that I haven't delved into yet. So that's when you're wanting to switch gears. Okay, I'm done with troop training. Now what can I focus on now? Well, we also want to simultaneously focus on our crafting research. Crafting research is going to be giving us a stat increase on not only just our ability to craft gear, but it's also going to give us a amplification of our set bonuses that we're getting so when you have a gear set which is a five piece set you can have six slots but the six slot really doesn't matter you can have an accessory piece that doesn't quite fit it doesn't impact this 
But if you have a five piece set, you're going to be getting a stat set bonus. So there's a set bonus associated with having a full set, either immortal, epic, you know, depending on your rarity. Again, only craft immortal. Um, can't stress that enough. You're going to get an extra set bonus from that, and this is just a base percentage increase on top of that set bonus. And then there's an extra set bonus that you get just because it's am uh, immortal. So this is a huge increase too because we're essentially rather than just tripling it, now that we have immortal gear, now we get mo times 6 with all of our stats. So I've seen actually a 1500% increase in some of my stats like against um, so there was a 2000% stat and now it's up to 3500 when I go into attack. So this is a huge difference that that plays into and it's also extremely high power research. So this final research is actually 600 million power research. It's just insane. It's absolutely crazy. Um, this is a great way to gain a lot of power. However, this is also what I would like to consider power bloating. You'll notice a lot of people who have a high power, but their stats might not be there because they're just focusing on things that give them power and they're not really focusing on getting themselves set up. Um, now we can go ahead and from our crafting, from our, um, from our troop training, from our battle, now we can focus then on hero training. Now hero training, we want to utilize, um, hero training in order to have an expansion and send more heroes in a march, have more heroes in on defense, and then later on we can go ahead and increase the stat percentage that these give, so they start off at 10%, but with all the research, you can go ahead and increase that stat percentage all the way up to 50%, so half of their stats that they get on their gear is going to increase the stats that you have in your march. Plus, we have all these other different stats, so now we'll be able to go ahead and look at here, where we have a pretty much an increase of 1.2%. This isn't really showing you to either swag. Um, but, again, you just want to look at it, and Go up until you think you can do another research in a different tree cheaper. However, there's some things that we obviously want to avoid. Now, I highly recommend that we avoid production, we avoid march speed, and we avoid dimensional battle. You can go in there, you can do the free stuff, but don't waste your resources doing so. Now, with dragon, this is pretty straightforward. It's going to increase the stats that your dragon will give you. You can only utilize them so many times um, per day. So, it's not something you're going to utilize in every single march. Just keep that in mind. Our city stats are going to give us stats on defense, and it's going to give us enemy debuffs that we can also utilize in attack. So, this is something that we want, definitely want to take a look at and work into the mix. So, we're going again. Here is the lineup. We're going battle until Citadel uh, Academy 26. Then we're going troop training. With troop training, we're combining that with our crafting research. From there, we're going to also focus in on, we're going to combine hero training with our city research. We can also work our dragon in there a little bit, but again, it's really only helpful on our huge attacks. So this is more of a tiebreaker kind of deal than anything else. Again, troop training is our number one most important stat that we, uh, stat area from research we can have. Um, Swag, if you don't have anything else, I think this concludes. No, that's pretty good. Um... I spaced out a little bit. Somebody said enhancement's a good way to gain stats, too. I don't know if you touched on enhancement for crafting research, but I assume you did because it's really good. Yeah. The enhancement level so, expansion, you really only want to focus that um, mm, as much as your sorry. gear level is. Is that what you're mentioning? Uh, no, I thought he was talking about amplification of set bonus, we but already maybe talked he's about talking that. about enhancement. Well, okay. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I was no spaced out a little bit on that one. All right. Well, that's going to conclude this video. Um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. This is Cam Cowboy with my boy Swag. Uh, yo, yo. Treating you very well to this mini series of Iron Throne. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos or want to get into the Iron Throne playtest, go ahead and shoot me a DM in one of the different ways in the description of this video. And don't forget to subscribe and stay up to date with all the latest Iron Throne content. We're working on some really big things here over at Captain Cowboy Incorporated, which is not a real company, nor will it ever it be. be. It could be. You never know, unless you do know, which we just told you you should know. And we're working on uh, some merchandise and some websites going up here in a bit. So, thank you all for watching. This is Kevin Cowboy and my boy Swag. Signing off. Yo, peace.